HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. It's Hopkinton Hiller's Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM, as today they take on the Bellingham Blackhawks. Tom Knapp alongside Eric Cardi on the call for what should be a good matchup here tonight of this TVL rivalry, Bellingham 0-0-1, they tied in their first game of the season. A 3-3 tie with Norton. The Hopkinton Hillers are 1-0-0. They won their first game of the year over Medfield right here at Pirelli Veterans Arena. And Bellingham, a young team, but they have a lot of players back from last season, so perhaps they'll take a step up this year. Certainly a good start earning a point over Norton. We'll now send it down to the ice where they will do the introductions and the national anthem.
Um, three, two, one. And there you have it, the national anthem, wonderfully sung by a Bellingham student. And we are ready for this TVL matchup between the 0-0-1 Bellingham Blackhawks and the 1-0-0 Hopkinton Hillers. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Carty on the call, Joe Frackleton on camera. And standing in the center circle for Bellingham is Bradley Swain, the junior, and he will go against Sean Walsh for the Hillers. And a pretty good student section on hand here today for the Hillers. And Saporoshitz will put it up the far side boards. Now controlled along the far side. Saporoshitz will shoot it out of play there off the ceiling netting. And Eric, even though this Bellingham team may be young, it's you certainly got to be careful in this matchup. It is, yeah. On paper, definitely the Hillers are the stronger team, but as we've watched this goalie over the years, it's been a couple of blowouts for the Hillers, but the goalie's been unbelievable. There's a shot there that's deflected away. Now in control up the near side for Bellingham is Thomas Mallott. Pass over to Saporoshitz. He'll put it over towards the corner. Bellingham trying to maintain control in the Hiller's zone. A hard check into the near side corner. That was given by Andrew Gilbert as the Hillers work the puck up the far side. Hillers in the midst of a line change as Dylan Mansur will put it towards the near side corner. The wrap around where it's handled by Schultz. Now there's a shot, goes off a defender. Went off of Bradley Swain off the stick of Mansur. Wrapped around by Schultz. Controlled by the, behind the Hillers net. And now pass over to Quinlan. Working up the near side. Here's Dan Kirk rushing in. There's a shot wide to the right. Put out towards the slot. Quinlan. And he goes off the goaltender who was to the left of the net. And then trying to sneak it in was Pavit Mera. And it ends up over to the far side boards. And the official blows it dead as the net became dislodged. Well, the Hillers did everything there but put the puck on the net. A couple of chances there, good blocks by the defenseman. That they uh, definitely had a good offensive surge there. Great breakout there to start the whole play by Quinlan. Certainly was. Quinlan had a goal against Medfield. It actually ended up being the game-winning goal. Came with about eight and a half minutes left to go in the third period. And the Hillers work the far side. There's a pass and a shot by Dan Kirk. And it's one to nothing, Hillers. Credit the assist to Will Quinlan. Just a beautiful passing play there. The Hillers set up perfect triangle. Tape to tape passes. With, uh, Kirk coming right out from behind the net, right in front. Nice shot, five hole. Well, Quinlan set him up perfectly. And it's one nothing, Hillers. Joe Carraza in the face-off circle for the Hillers. We'll go up against Kyle Pelliquin. Pass over the far side by Mansur. Backhanded pass to Aiden Walsh, who works his way up the near side. Now behind the net, Carraza. Over to the blue line, he goes. That shot is wide to the right by Sheamus. Now up along the near side boards. Miller is trying to keep the pressure on. Getting over to the corner is Weinstock. He meets up with Ethan Larkin. And Sir at the blue line. He'll put it off the goaltender's leg pad. The goaltender matchup today. Connor Henchy for Bellingham and Gray Bailey for the Hillers. As we get a whistle here. It's great to see the secondary scoring here by the Hillers. Kirk's just a solid player all around. He plays great defense in his own zone. He's one of those that kind of goes unnoticed because he's so steady and good. It's not as flashy as some of the other guys, but he's always in the right spot and chips in on the offense quite a bit also. Walsh on the faceoff with Swain. Swain trying to control up the near side. Here comes Ethan Larkin. There's a shot and a loose puck and Bailey able to wrap it up. Things got a little dangerous there for the Hillers as Bellingham came charging in. Cam Jarrett up against Bradley Swain. 
I think that's Sean Walsh getting in there. Here comes Walsh, look out. Speeding up the ice, great pass. There's a shot by Kirk. And it's deflected away by the goaltender. Loose puck out in front. And now here's a shot at the top of the circle. That was by Cam Jarrett. Turned away by Connor Henshe, who's been very busy so far tonight. Walsh. Puts it off a Blackhawk in front of him and was hoping it would deflect towards another hiller. Into the neutral zone, here comes Hamblet. Rogers trying to set up Hamblet there. On the far side corner, here's Jarrett. Backhander over to Walsh. Walsh sends it to the top of the left circle, and that shot by Michael Berman is just wrapped up by Henshi. How about this pressure by the Hillers? Several shots on net. Yeah, I think it's a theme the last couple times they played. The Hillers have had uh, at least 40 shots in both the other two games. Looks like they might be headed for another one. Dan Kirk up against Schultz. About three and a half minutes into action here in the first period. A one nothing lead for the Hillers. That was Kirk looking for Quinlan there. Now a battle in the neutral zone as Pavit Barrett turns it up the far side. There leaves behind for Quinlan. Now Quinlan sends it down, and here comes Dan Kirk. And we get an offsides. Good forecheck by Kirk. Faceoff comes with 11-10 left to go in the first period. Dan Kirk up against Shane Hamill. Kirk, top of the right circle. They're trying to get there. Bellingham able to work it out of their defensive zone. Chased down by Gilbert. Gilbert sends it over to Mara. Mara with a pass to Quinlan. Sends it over the far side. Mara sends that one flying around the boards. Zaporoshitz getting in there, squirts it up. Now along the near side corner, pass back over to Zaporoshitz. There's a powerful shot off of Roger Bellinger. Bellingham in the midst of a line change as Dylan Mansur tries to work it up the ice. Pass over to Joe Carazu, trips up a little bit, but regains his balance. Then getting in there is Weinstock. Closing in on 10 minutes left to go in the first period. Out in front of the net, there's a shot and it's wrapped up by Henshi. That was off the stick of Weinstock. He was trying to poke it through. I believe that's LaHue and Net Tom. They announced him as a star though. He's got a different number than, he's wearing 24, which isn't on our roster, but he did announce him at the beginning. Facing a lot of rubber already here in the first period. All right, Kamala Hugh is the goaltender for Bellingham today. And Hugh turns that one away. Sent up by Sheamus. And we get an offsides. Racing, rather. Face off in the Hiller zone. 9.43 left to go in the first period. Dylan Mansur up against Bradley Swain. Trying to work it down was Eldridge. Jammed up along the corner as Peltier is able to get there. Now out in front, now one turned away by Bailey. Bellingham certainly playing a bit aggressive when they get the puck into the Hillers zone. They're not, a try to, they're not afraid to try to push the Hillers around. Peltier tries to go off Manser and it backfires. Works it up the near side. Rogers sends it out. And unable to get the shot off there was Hamblet. Now up along the far side is Pelletier for Bellingham. Jammed up alongside Hamblet and Weinstock. 
Here comes Jarrett. We'll take a check along the near side boards from Milot. Now Walsh trying to get in there, free it up. Rogers with a nice move. Back at her, good setup. Walsh with the shot, it's turned away. Great save by Cam Hugh, the what junior goalkeeper. What a great passing play by the Hillers there, and he said outstanding save. I think Rogers and Walsh thought they had that one. Well, you said think again. Hamlet sends it over, now Walsh up behind the net. And there's some power by Cam Jarrett. Flies into the back glass. And now Mara will put it a little too high there. Jarrett wraps it around, Quinlan trying to get there. Well, he's got to get a change here, they've been out there a while. Larkin trying to send it up the near side off of Reese Griffiths. There's a shot. And it's turned away by LaHue off the stick of Mara. Quinlan, Mara. That shot turned away. Hiller is certainly already in the double digits shot wise. Continuing to put the pressure on, but some good goalkeeping so far by Cam LaHue. Quinlan to Mara. Back to Quinlan, wide left. It's almost like the Hillers have been on a power play all game long. Yeah, the passing's been really impressive so far this first period, right on the tape to tape. That one intercepted away. Able to get there with Shane Hamill for Bellingham. Now Bellinger jammed up behind the net. Takes a hit into the corner from Gilbert. Gilbert will slow it down a little bit. Under seven minutes left to go in the first period. A one nothing lead for the Hillers. Gilbert flicks it off the near side boards. Schultz gets in there. Backhander by Hamill sends it down and turned away by Bailey. Gilbert handles it. will pop it off the far side boards and Weinstock ended up putting it out of play. One thing that can seem to always turn a game, that's when you run into a hot goaltender. And you know, we've seen from this the Hugh over the years, he's uh, proven that he can stop a lot of the good shots here. He'll just have to stay relentless on him. Along the near side now. And there's a shot. Good save once again by LaHue. This one off the stick of Aiden Walsh. Carraza in on the faceoff for the Hillers. Sheamus sends it just to the right. Big hit there by Aiden Walsh. Sheamus put LaHue back to work there. Aiden Walsh trying to control behind the net. Now over to the corner, wide stock. Weinstock trying to figure out where to go with it. Had nowhere to go, ends up accidentally passing to Pelletier for Bellingham. Along the near side, Sheamus sends it across. Here comes Gilbert. Turned over to the far side boards by LaHue. And Hiller is certainly winning the possession battle so far in this game. I would say they probably have about 16, 17 shots at this point. Hillers were able to keep the puck in with just a one-man forecheck there while they made a change. And we've got an icing here. Yeah, Hill is going to be to be careful on the offensive end there. A little tough pickup with the darker colored jerseys for Bellingham there. You take the extra look to make sure it's your man. Walsh up against Bradley Swain. Rogers takes a hit. Stayed on his feet, was trying to control, but coming away with it was Swain. Swain works it up into the Hiller's end. Trying to wrap it around, but surrounded by Berman and Walsh. 
And now up the far side is Hamlet. Hamlet leaves it in front, a shot by Rogers, and that's in. Two nothing Hillers. Great speed by Hamlet to get around the outside, and Rogers right in front with a stick down, ready to go. Another tape to tape pass. That goal comes with 4.41 left to go in the first period. Walsh up against Pelletier. In the center circle. Here comes Walsh. Putting on the moves. And that time turned away by Schultz. Bellingham with an opportunity here. Out in front of the net. It was a pretty good shot by Nathan Page. Walsh sends it up. Turned away by Schultz. Now here comes Walsh off the loose puck and he will put it in. Sean Walsh with the smooth moves makes it 3 0. Well, Sean's got that move down, Pat. Makes a nice cut to the middle move, get the goalie to open up the pads and then slide it right between. Similar to the goal he had in the last game. That goal comes with 4.14 left to go in the first period. Well, Cam Lohieu can only do so much. Not getting a whole lot of support on the defensive side. Along the near side. Andrew Moore was trying to turn it up ice. I think you'll see just about everybody on the Hillers roster get in there tonight. Along the far side, flicked up by John Todd. Bellingham trying to charge in, Curtis Terry gets involved. Up to the near side of Moore, he takes a big hit from McClellan. Now Bellinger had it for a moment. Gilbert was able to get a shot off on the loose puck and it is He's saved by LaHue. And Hiller's gonna change things up on the ice. 3.38 left to go in the first. Dan Kirk up against John Todd. Gremlin along the near side corner. Kirk takes a hit into the boards. Kirk trying to feed it to Quinlan, and Gilbert pops it forward. Nice move there by Kirk. Over to Quinlan, trying to leave it into the slot, and Bellingham had a few defenders in there to turn it away. He's looking for Mara. Up the near side, Gilbert trying to put it back into Bellingham territory. Some nice moves there by Dan Kirk to maintain possession, just past the reach of Quinlan on the pass. Gilbert trying to feed it back to Quinlan. Behind the net is McClellan. Popped into the neutral zone, handled by Saperoshitz. And it's fired up the far side by Raffis. Dylan Manser will take it up for the Hillers. Pass over to Aiden Walsh now. Walsh with a nice move. There's a shot turned away. Seamus, that one turned away by LaHue. Jammed up along the far side corner. Brazos trying to send it out. Some matching penalties here. A little roughing behind the play. But the Kirk That's line has uh, really impressed me tonight with their forecheck and they've uh, been really working hard in the corners and putting the pressure on Bellingham, not letting them break out. So it looks like we'll have a Blackhawk as well as a Hiller heading to the box. Brennan McCann heads to the box for Bellingham. Joe Carraza for the Hillers. Faceoff should be outside here. So remain at even strength. 2.12 left to go in the first period. 3-0 Hillers. 
Curtis Terry up against Bradley Pelletier. Aiden Walsh leaves it behind off the near side boards, handled by Schultz. Schultz sends it forward. And we got a whistle here. Offsides. And Sarah with a nice poke check there with a stick to knock that backwards. Bellingham had snuck behind him, but he was able to catch up. Curtis Terry up against Shane Hamill. Jammed up along the near side boards. Terry is in there as well as Aiden Walsh for the Hillers. Now here comes Shane Hamill looking for a shot. He's turned away by Manser. Picking up the loose puck for the Hillers, Sheamus. And he's diverted. Here comes Manser. Up the near side, Aiden Walsh. Sent over by Sheamus along the far side. And we get a whistle here. I think Bellingham's gonna be down short. Elbow. So the Hillers with a three nothing lead will have a power play opportunity. Jamison Eldridge heads to the box. Pavit Mira up against Matt Pelletier. Pelletier wins that time. He's trying to put it off of Walsh. And he was trying to sneak that one between Walsh's legs. That usually doesn't work out too well. Sends it over to Gilbert. Back to Rogers. Out in front, and there's a goal. Another great passing play. That was, I believe, Rogers on the goal. And it was 4 nothing Hillers. Second goal of the night by Kyler Rogers. That goal comes with 51 seconds left. And Hillers able to take advantage of the power play. Over the far side corner, sent around by Reese Griffiths. Walsh pops it off the boards. Now here comes Hamlet, trying to slow it down. Hamlet shot, and it is off the side of the net that time. Walsh takes a hit as Jared gets in there. Jared leaves it behind for Hamlet. Now back to Walsh, wide to the left it goes. Picked up along the far side by Sheamus. Off of Griffiths. And now here comes Bellingham. Racing down was Pelletier and the first period will end with the Hillers leading Bellingham four to nothing. Impressive stuff by the Hillers that period, Eric. Yeah, dominating first period and the Hillers just uh, were dead on with their passing. Three out of the four goals were just tape to tape passes, uh, making two passes at least before uh, hitting the wide open guy in front. Well, things looking good for the Hillers so far. They're leading big over Bellingham, four to nothing. The second period is coming up next. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. We are ready for the second period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Bellingham Blackhawks. It's Hopkinton Hillers. Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Hardy on the call. 
Joe Frackleton on camera, and it's a 4-0 lead for the Hillers. Dan Kirk with a goal at 13-26, and Kyle Rogers at 4-41. Sean Walsh at 4-14. And then at 51 seconds left in the period, Kyle Rogers struck again. And the Hillers dominating up to this point as we are underway in the second period. On the far side, that's John Todd. Out of Schultz. And Bailey will set that one up. Saperosius along the far side. Rogers trying to work his way down. Here comes Pelletier. Gilbert trying to get in there. And we'll get a whistle here. I think Gilbert's going to go for a hook. Don't know what I saw. I thought he made a real good play on the Bellingham defenseman. Well, Bellingham will have a power play opportunity. Gilbert sent to the box for the hook. Bellingham will have the man advantage for the next two minutes. Dan Kirk up against Kyle Bates. Along the far side, and Bailey will wrap that up. Bradley Swain wins the battle that time. We'll see how the Hillers do with the man short. Minute 40 seconds and counting left on the power play. Jamison Eldridge working up the near side. Turned up ice by Sheamus. Controlled down by Schultz. On the far side, he goes with it. Sheamus sends it back down. Weinstock gets in there. Schultz, and it's stolen away. Quinlan, and he was trying to get a quick shot off, but he was turned away by the defenseman. Jammed up along the near side now. Aldridge takes control for Bellingham. Sheamus sends it down. Hill was doing a great job on the forecheck, even down a man, just forcing Bellingham to turn the puck over. Here comes Pelletier. Quinlan takes a hack at it, then Aiden Walsh able to get in there. Now it's controlled by Cam Jarrett. And he will put it out of play off the netting. 12.38 left to go in the second period. 24 seconds left on the Bellingham power play. Sean Walsh up against Shane Hamill. Pelletier trying to wrap it around. And it's stolen away. Here comes Jarrett. The power play has expired. We are at even strength. Berman bounces off the boards to Quinlan. And now it's stolen away. Good move there. There's a shot and a goal. How about that? Shane Hamill putting on the moves. Makes it 4-1. to one. A Tough break there. Just... The defenseman lost a little bit of balance and momentum. He will take that puck, go right around. A good shot, top corner. Shane Hamill puts Bellingham on the scoreboard. Now Sean Walsh up against Bradley Swain.
Along the near side, sent down. The possession, John Tottle meet up with Kyle Rogers. Sent up back into the Hiller zone by Reese Griffiths, turns it away. Now here comes Walsh racing down, Sean Walsh, and he'll put it in with ease. He's got that, uh, that move down, Pat. Just a slight cut back to the middle, get the goalie to swing those pads open. He just makes it look easy. Five to one, Hillers. Well, that's what the Hillers do. They give up a goal and send Sean Walsh right down the ice. Dan Kirk up against Shane Hamill. Seamus sends it up the near side. Dan Kirk tracks it down. Kirk trying to leave it for Mara. Kirk racing in looking for a shot. Didn't have anything, too many Blackhawks in the area. Here comes Pelletier. And it's intercepted away there by Kirk. Hillers trying to work it back down. Quinlan just misses Mira with that pass. Along the corner now is Manser. Mira takes a shot and it's turned away by LeHue. There's Kirk. And that one turned away by LeHue out in front. Quinlan was trying for the secondary shot. And it's sent in Ehlers territory after Kirk met up with Todd. Over to the near side now. Here comes Sheamus. Sheamus racing in. He's batted up against the boards. Mara looking for a shot. And it's turned away by Layu. Good shot there by Mara. Only a little higher than he would have liked it. Up behind the Bellingham net now. Eldridge wraps it around. Here comes Bellinger. And now Walsh tripped up. Bellingham trying to put some pressure on. Weinstock along the near side for the Hillers. He was tied up with Ethan Larkin. Sent around now by McCann. Along the near side, off the boards. And now it's taken by Jarrett. Jarrett looking for a shot just a little bit high there. Sent around by Berman. Ian Walsh digs it out. Sends it up to Jarrett. And now trying to feed it in was Carraza. Weinstock backhands it. Here comes Bellingham. Just under nine minutes left to go in the second period. A five to one Hillers lead. Eldridge sends it around, picked up by Carraza. Now racing up with it is Berman. Berman with a nice move there, but cutting him off is Todd. Berman sends it around, just past Hamlet. Up the boards it goes. Jammed up along the near side. It goes off of Jarrett there. Back into the Hillers defensive zone. Walsh just recently hopped back into the game. And he has possession. Here comes Sean Walsh. Good defensive play there to break him up. Walsh was trying to sneak that one in, but Pelletier got involved. And we'll get an ice here. Well, the hill is continuing with the uh, pepper and the goalie with the shots on net there. They certainly are. Well, looks like they're going to change them out. Camel Hugh 
They're going to come out of net. I wonder if he's shook it up a little bit. He's taking a lot of hits today. Yeah, I think he's a trainer out there. Sean Raffis will take over in net for Bellingham. Sean Raffis is sophomore. Sean Walsh up against Shane Hamill on the faceoff. Well, let's see if the Millers can take advantage of the goaltending chain. Stamble to try to fire that one in. Along the far side. Back into the Hiller's zone. Gilbert will track it down. Up the near side of Hamlet. Now looking for Walsh. It's turned away by Todd. Saparoshitz fires it and a glove save there by Raffis. It's tough for a goalie coming in without, without any warm-ups. Face-off at 7.14 left to go in the second period. Dan Kirk up against Ethan Larkin in the face-off circle. Excuse me, make that Bradley Swain. Backhander up by Carraza. Now there's a shot by Mira out in front of the net, trying to sneak it in. And well defended by the goaltender, Raffis, as Kirk was trying to sneak it in. Buck just bouncing a little bit on Kirk. Winland sends it down. They're trying to get to it. Out in front, Quinlan, and an easy, easy goal. This Quinlan is. setting up Dan Kirk, yeah. and it's Dan Kirk's second goal of the night. And yeah, Miro with a great play behind the net, breaking up the Bellingham player there and passing it out front. How about that Dan Kirk Will Quinlan combination tonight? Yeah, this line has been great all night since the, uh, their first shift out there, especially on the forecheck, and their passing has been right on. A six to one lead for the Hillers. Curtis Terry up against Kyle Pelliquin. Over to Sheamus. Gotta track it down, Terry. Out in front. Now getting in there, Toko. Toko got a good amount of playing time last season. Sent over to the near side. Back up towards Sheamus, he'll launch a shot, that's turned away. And then it's wrapped around by Brendan McCann. And we get a whistle. Do we have a penalty here? It looked like just That's a line change. Right. Off sides, I believe was the call. 22 versus 22, Carraza and Bradley Swain. Here comes Eldridge after he gives Jared a big hit. He was trying to leave it out for Swain. Now the Ailer is rushing down. Getting in there was Weinstock, now up the near side, Jarrett. Reese Griffiths tripped up and we'll get an icing here. 5.50 left to go in the second period. The Hillers leading Bellingham six to one. And Bellingham showing a few signs of life every now and then. They get a good, good break. They do have some speed, that's for sure. They just can't make the breakout all the way up the ice and able to utilize it. Yeah, I think it would be a little bit closer if it was a speed skating competition. Out in front, Weinstock trying to sneak it in and it's wrapped up by Raffis. <laughs> so 
Will Carraza on the faceoff for the Hillers. There's a shot fired by Jarrett. Aiden Walsh tried to tip it in. Jarrett gonna skate around with it a little bit and set it over towards Carraza. Carraza comes out from the corner. Moving it towards Griffiths who launches a shot and it's turned away. Weinstock trying to get in there, Griffiths. And Bellingham has a slight break here. Here comes Ethan Larkin, wide left. Cam Jarrett takes it around. Now in the neutral zone, Schultz for Bellingham. And he put it right off of Carraza. Carraza to come down and launch a shot, turned away. Raffis has made a couple decent saves in, since he's come in to play goal for Bellingham. He remains busy. Bellingham trying to work it up the near side. Sean Walsh leaves it out. Gilbert launches a shot, loose puck. And Rogers was trying to get in there. And now here's another shot by Saperoshitz. It's turned away. And now it'll be wrapped up by Raffis. He was doing a good job cycling the puck down to the corners, maintaining possession. Hiller is really putting on the pressure there. Sean Walsh up against Bradley Swain. Leaves it for Rogers. Turned away by McCann. Walsh pokes it off the boards. Bellingham trying to charge in, but Andrew Gilbert had something to say about that. Now the Blackhawks get it into the Hiller zone. On the far side, it's Bellinger. Walsh getting in there, it's taken away by Hamlet. Here comes Rogers. Rogers is trying to feed Walsh there, but that's okay. Saparoshitz gets the shot off. It's turned away. Up to Walsh. Right around to Hamlet. Hamlet trying to sneak it in with the backhand. Saparoshitz with the power wide to the right. Gilbert. Shot by Gilbert turned away. And trying to wrap it around was Walsh. That's turned away by Raffis. The sophomore goaltender keeping busy. Certainly keeping the Hillers at bay. For the moment. And now here comes McCann. This shot turned away by Sheamus. Rogers working up the ice. Rogers trying to lift it and put that one towards the upper deck. Showing some strength there, fighting through a couple of big defensemen. That shot turned away. That was off the stick of Sheamus. Trying to work it up is Manser. Now here comes Quinlan. Leaves it behind for Kirk, there's a shot. Turned away. Quinlan with possession. Over to Mara. Arrow's trying to sneak it out as he took a hit. Peltier now racing up and it's a glove save by Bailey. That's one thing the Hillers have got to be careful. That's the third time that Bellingham's had their forward up behind the defenseman at the blue line and got a partial breakaway each, each of those times. Trying to do anything to get back into the game. 2.01 left to go in the second period. A 6-1 lead for the Hillers. Hamill up against Kirk in the faceoff circle. Kirk wins that time. Here comes Hopkinton, Mara. Avid Mira, the freshman, certainly showed off some great speed in the midfield game. Where he ended up having uh, one of the three goals and a couple of very nice looking shots. Off the skate of Quinlan, and Quinlan able to intercept. Finds Mara. Mara with a shot turned away. 
Up behind the net it goes. Kirk tripped up a little bit out in front. Mara with a shot. And that's just turned away by Rafis. I think it might have got a quarter, bit of a post, too. Yeah, I think so. Mara leaves it for Kirk. Breakaway. There's a shot trying to go five hole. Nice save by Rafis once again. This line is just dominating tonight. Yeah, how about the sophomore goaltender stepping in? He's coming up big. Quinlan trying to send it up. That was diverted by Todd. Well, if he pitches a shutout for the rest of the game against the Hillers, he might end up stealing that goaltending job. Cam Jarrett up to Walsh, or excuse me, Terry. Terry racing in, five hole, no! And somehow that didn't end up being a goal. I thought for sure that was going in. <laughs> I don't know how Rafa saved that one. But that's a great breakout play. Terry circled right up, showing his speed. Got a nice outlet pass. I don't know if that was Rafis who saved it or a defender got a stick just behind Rafis. I think it just caught the inside of his pad. Well, some luck there for Bellingham. Terry up against Pelican. That's certainly a great looking shot. Rafis will wrap that one up with 22 seconds left in the second period. He certainly takes up a lot of the net. <laughs> Terry up against Pelican. On the corner, getting in there, Toko. And now with possession behind the net. Sent out by Terry. Toko along the near side corner. Off the goaltender it goes. Loose puck, a misfire there by Jarrett. And that'll do it for the second period. Both teams score one goal apiece in the second, but the Hillers leading this game six to one. And excuse me, the Hillers scored two goals in that second period. They have four in the first. It's a six to one lead for the Hillers after two. Some good aggressive play there by the Hillers, keeping the pressure on Bellingham, Eric. Yeah, the Hillers just, uh, again, had another dominating period. And uh, the Kirk line, again, just really impressed uh, with them tonight, the way they played. Uh, they have a great forecheck going. They know where, where each other's going to be. The, the passes are right there, and everyone's in the right position. And that's a, a recipe for a lot more goals. <laughs> well, at the end of two, Hopkinton with the... Five goal advantage leading Bellingham six to one. We'll take a timeout. Coming up next, the final 15 minutes of regulation. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. We are ready for the third period of this TVL matchup between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Bellingham Blackhawks. A six to one Hillers lead as we head into the final 15 minutes of regulation. It looks like we have a goalie change for the Hillers. Colin Norid has taken over in net. So Gray Bailey will get the rest of the evening off. Colin Norid, the new goaltender for the Hillers. And in the center circle, Sean Walsh against Shane Hamill, and we are underway. Saparoshitz in control. And he'll leave it for Walsh, racing up the ice over to Rogers, and how about that? What a start to the third period. Well, no letting off the throttle here for the Hillers. It's just uh, the, the passing has just been unbelievable tonight. It's a great face-off play. And again, the speed of the hill is just dominating. 16 seconds into action. 
Sean Walsh to Kyle Rogers, and Rogers feeds the net. That's the second time tonight the Walsh-Rogers combination has struck in the first period. Sean Walsh had a goal, assisted by Rogers. Saperoshitz over to Gilbert. Walsh sends it around over to Hamlet. 7-1 lead for the Hillers. Here comes Rogers. And a misfire there. Loose puck still in front of the net, and we get a whistle. The Hillers are going to go on the power play. Charge down the other end here. That's one thing the Hill is going to be careful of is uh, Blackhawks are getting frustrated and going to be running around a little bit looking to try to lay some big checks out. Matt Pelletier heading to the box for Bellingham. And the Hillers will have a man advantage. Dan Kirk up against Bradley Swain. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi, happy to be with you here at Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. Joe Frackleton on camera. Doing a great job as always. Well, we have a moment. We want to remind you, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton, founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi. In 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Oh, we have some type of stoppage here. Maybe a... I wonder if they're giving them misconduct as well. Just, oh, they haven't brought anyone else over to the box. Nope, they're going to run the clock here, it looks like. Ah, so they wanted to perhaps confirm the clock running rules. Well, they didn't run it right off the bat, so. I wasn't sure if it was six or seven. I guess we'll find out. Up the near side over to Manser. Set down by Jarrett. Quinlan sends it over. Jarrett. Back to Quinlan, now uh, Manser. Hillers try to shake it up. Jarrett behind the net. Sent away, Quinlan was right there though. There's a shot, and it was turned away. Then Kirk with a secondary shot, it's off the post. Couple chances there for Kirk, looking for the hat trick. Dylan Manser chasing it down. Leaves it behind for Quinlan. Here comes Quinlan, over to Kirk, shot and a save. Good save there by Raffis. Another couple of good chances for that line again. 57 seconds left on the power play and it is indeed a running clock. So that stoppage was the officials just confirming with the coaches. Reese Griffiths over to Saraza. Now Mara. Back to Berman. Off of Caraza. Caraza meets up with Larkin behind the net. Now Mara gets in there and digs it out. Looking for a shot there, was trying to sneak a quick one in, but it was turned away by Raffis. And now here's Merrow with a shot, turned away by Raffis once again. Back to the line. Merrow along the far side. One-timer, and a little wide there by Carrazza, the net came dislodged. That's a move there by Merrow, coming down the middle, just a little sidestep. Get a nice pass over for the one-timer. Clock continuing to run. Now at 12 minutes and counting left to go in the game. Miller is up seven to one. After a off the bat goal by Kyle Rogers to start the third period.
Toko takes a hit into the boards. Back to the blue line, Saperoshitz. And that one is turned away off the stick of Terry, now along the near side. Hamill's trying to race it up the ice. Bellingham having trouble clearing their zone at this point. Pelletier. Up the far side trying to put the moves on, but Saperoshitz doesn't buy it. Here comes Saperoshitz. And that shot from Curtis Terry turned away. Up the near side, Pelletier. Getting in front of it was Toko. Nice defensive play there by Toko. Along the near side, right in front of the official. Gilbert trying to sneak it up to Moore. Hamlet gets in there. And now here's an opportunity. Hamlet racing in. Still loose out in front of the net. And it was turned away a couple of times by Raffis. Fired around by Sheamus. We approach 10 minutes left to go in the game. Rogers trying to set it up. Into the Hiller's zone, that'll draw the icing. The Hillers just have Bellingham totally back on the heels now. Well, the Hillers, less than 10 minutes away from improving to 2 0 and 0 on the season. Bellingham would fall to 0 1 and 1. Up next for Hopkinton, their home opener this Saturday against Westwood. And then on December 28th, they'll take on Hudson at home. For Bellingham, they got Dedham and Stoughton coming up. Quinlan. Over to Kirk, along the far side. Up the ice now. Colin Nord will leave it for Jarrett. Squirts it over to Mara. Mara is trying to find Kirk there. Bellingham. Looking to maintain possession in the Hiller's zone. Mara sends it up to Kirk, and he's quickly turned away. Mara, he fires that one, and it's turned away. And then Quinlan trying to poke it in, turned away. It's pretty good goalkeeping by the sophomore, Sean Raffis. He's given up three goals since he's been in, but the Hillers are just overpowering this Bellingham team. Mera turned away. I love a face off. Clock will keep running as the Hillers are up by six. And we'll have some line changes. The referee was anticipating the net coming off again there. It didn't look like it moved. Blew it down anyways. Draws up against Pelican. Gilbert tracks it down. Sends it off the far side boards. Now Sheamus going to track it down. Gilbert slices it up to Peraza. Sheamus getting in there, now Weinstock. Here comes Carraza. He's trying to leave it for Aiden Walsh. Gilbert sends it around. It's taken out by Schultz. Schultz trying to maneuver around Weinstock there. Now up the near side comes Carraza. Alquin gets a stick in there. Toko. And he put it out of play. Yeah. 
Clock continuing to run, approaching six and a half left to go. In the faceoff for the Hillers, Curtis Terry up against Matt Pelletier. Here comes Pelletier, he's tripped up. Sliced up the far side by Jarrett. Now racing in is Andrew Moore. Here comes Hamill, that shot is gonna be wrapped up by Norridge. Terry up against Bradley Swain. Well, everybody on the Hillers roster got an opportunity for some good experience in this one. Here's Toko. That shot turned away. Up the near side. Danlin Manser fired that one off a defender. And up behind the net. And we get a whistle. A couple Oops. of roughing penalties on both teams. Second time we've seen that tonight. Toko heads to the box along with Bradley Swain. So we'll remain at even strength. A little frustration starting to throw show through for the Blackhawks. Dan Kirk on the faceoff for the Hillers. Quinlan. Berman was trying to slow it down. Quinlan sends it around over to Griffiths. Now Mara up to Quinlan. Wide open break and coming out of nowhere was Jake Schultz. Good defensive play there with a the poke check. Good speed up the ice there. Trying to charge down now is Hamill. He had the lone Bellingham goal earlier. Along the near side. Now back to McCann. Sent around by Larkin. Approaching three and a half left to go. Kirk slices it off the boards. Griffiths catches up with it. Just past the reach of Kirk there, off the glass it goes. And it's tracked down by Berman. And out of play it goes. Dan Kirk getting wrapped up with Pelt here. Less than three minutes left to go before the Hillers will earn their second win of the season. They have a number of tough tests coming up, Eric. Yes, they do. Yeah, I forgot to mention, too, a shout-out to uh, Coach O'Connor and Coach McPherson on their 100th win with the program last week against Menfield. Ah, that is true. Pretty soon they'll have their 101st. <laughs> Set around by Gilbert. That is a big accomplishment. It is, yeah, a really big turnaround for the program after they stepped in. They've just done a tremendous job. And now you gotta call this Hopkinton Hillers varsity program one of the elite programs in the state. They're in deep in the playoff run every year. Of course, the state championship last year. And they're expected to make a deep run, of course, once again this year, but a lot of up and coming talent throughout this Hopkinton program. Gilbert, out in front. There's a shot and it's wrapped up. There's Joe Carrazza looking for a goal, but 
Sean Raffis on the save. And we'll have a line change on both sides for the last minute or so. <coughs> Slicing at the puck was Aiden Walsh. Sent around by Carraza, now up behind the net. Past the reach of Saporoshitz. Less than a minute left to go. Back to the neutral zone of Bates. Raza working his way up. Toko launches a shot. A little wide there. There's another shot turned away. There's Raza getting a good shot in. And it looks like we're going to have a Hiller's power play coming up. We're going to get a cross-check call against Liam Keating. But the clock likely going to run out anyhow. A good showing for the Hillers there. Just good in all three phases of the game tonight. They certainly were. A dominant performance by the Hopkinton Hillers as they defeat the Bellingham Blackhawks by a final score of 7-1. A good win by the Hillers, who are now 2-0 oh on the season. Bellingham falls to 0-1-1. Oh, one one. Eric, any final thoughts? Not just the, the Hillers, they, they really uh, come together. You know, great passing is what really impressed me tonight. They uh, were just looking for each other. They were, had great positioning, and that just led to uh, the majority of the goals. Wide open for the shots. Well, don't forget to head over to hcam.tv to keep up with Hillers winter sports all season long. We'll have highlights plus much more over at our website, hcam.tv. The Hopkinton Hillers are victorious over the Bellingham Blackhawks by a final score of 7-1. to one. That is going to wrap up coverage here from Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. For Joe, Joe Frackleton on camera, my broadcast partner Eric Cardi. I'm Tom Nappy with thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Hockey on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.